Hi, my name is Jeff Evans. I work for Iris Technology in Irvine, California. We have a very unique power management solution that would integrate well onto uh, military platforms similar to the M-Razor uh, or other uh, cap uh, light capabilities that are used, used by the Army. The first piece of equipment that I want to discuss is the, is the Emily fuel cell. Fuel cell technology is, is becoming invaluable uh, today because it provides uh, silent, um, non-IR detective DC power uh, to any application. This particular unit provides 125 watts of DC power. It integrates with any type of battery, 12 or 24 volt. This particular battery is a 6T 24 volt, volt lithium 3.2 kilowatt battery. We've also integrated another piece of equipment called spaces. Uh, with the Emily fuel cell and the spaces, uh, which provides solar power back to the battery uh, during the day, we can have power, uh, a solar power capability integrating into the battery. And then at night, uh, the fuel cell technology uh, integ er, integrates on with that and provides power back to the battery as the battery depletes day or night. We've also integrated a uh, DC to AC power converter, which provides 1800 watts of AC power. In this particular scenario, I have a 1500 watt uh, uh, heater uh, and then a CF-19 Panasonic Toughbook and a PRC-117 Falcon 3 radio integrated AC into this scenario. So from a mounted perspective, this could provide you with up to 100, 100 uh, hours of pure DC power or AC power with the integrated uh, QP1800 DC to AC power converter uh, on any platform. This particular capability provides, provides the soldier with uh, silent watch activities. It's completely quiet. Uh, it requires little to no maintenance on the part of the individual soldier. And lastly, uh, it has no IR signature or smoke, uh, giving you that, that silent watch uh, operational perspective uh, in, in S-tier environments. I chose a crate as a similar uh, width for the, for the bed of the vehicle. Uh, and as you can see, um, with the integrated fuel cell technology, the QP1800 and the battery and then the, and the fuel cartridge, uh, the footprint of this doesn't take up very much space. It's probably maybe uh, a quarter to one third of, of the space of the vehicle. And then lastly, uh, all of this equipment will be integrated into a Pelican case uh, with, uh, with mill standard connectors for, uh, for connecting up uh, whatever power source you may need. From a mounted perspective, uh, that particular capability would do well uh, on an M-Razor uh, platform. However, if the soldier or recon element uh, considered uh, dismounted operations, we can integrate what's called a Jenny 600. Uh, it's another form of fuel cell. It provides 25 watts of DC power to its source direct. It doesn't require a battery in between us uh, like the Emily. Uh, that 25 watts of power can go direct into uh, what's called a Merlin 3. Uh, it, it is a radio power adapter that, that uh, integrates onto the bottom of the radio and then, uh, and then the, the 2590 or whatever BABB style battery integrates the bottom of that. It has an input, an aux, and, and in this particular scenario, we have it auxed off to the Panasonic CF19 uh, Toughbook. We have a dismounted scenario, a mounted scenario, take your pick. Uh, this is a quality application that provides, again, that silent watch up to about 100 hours of capability without resupply. Thank you.